What's going on guys, it's your boy Demonic Kidder here coming at you with the review of the Yeezy 350 V2 in the Citroen colorway, both the non-reflective and reflective versions. I just made my own lane, no no there's no excess, make them see the feet, just like it's a fetish. Huge shout out to the homie Tommy from Soul Zero for hooking me up with his pair. Without him, this comparison would not have been possible. The shoe itself comes in Adidas signature Yeezy Primate upper that's held together with a long, thick stitching running down the middle. It's paired up with regular tannish rope laces. Sadly, the non-reflective and reflective versions do not come with 3M rope laces. This Yeezy is what I would consider to be a Frankenstein of a design. The reason why I say that because it has hints of yellow in some parts of the shoe. The outer quadrant of the shoe has like a dark gray with a little hint of yellow running on the upper, which is not bad. I actually think it's a nice hint of color. The rest of the shoe is a tan combination with a little bit of green, but it's kind of hard to tell, which you can tell easily confuse it for gray. On the side of the shoe we have a translucent lime green stripe but I think it's a nice touch of color. This shoe does not have a pull tab and it does include a tan insole with lime green writing. The midsole itself is what I consider to be a tan finishing off with the outsole it being something close to a gum color but it's not really gum it looks more like peach. Overall, it's still a nice silhouette and I do feel like these soles will last longer compared to the icy white ones that most models do have. As for sizing, I recommend going half a size up, but if you for some reason got your true size, you can definitely take out the insole to make some more room. As for resale, these shoes are not reselling as much. I feel like the reason why is because they came so close after the cloud whites, that's why it's doing poorly. But of course, if you're thinking about the reflective pair, it's definitely going, I believe, double its retail price. As for the non-reflective, I believe it's going for like 20, 30 bucks over retail. Of course, this all depends on the size that you're aiming for. I believe the base sizes are always gonna be a little bit higher compared to the more common sizes. Were you able to tell which one was which? To be honest, the reflective version is not far from the non-reflective version. You can definitely tell maybe if you're extremely close, depending on the lighting situation, you may see a little bit of shimmer. But other than that, you cannot really tell. And especially if you have them on feet, you know, from like height level and you see someone's foot, you're not gonna be like, oh, those are the reflectives. The only way you can truly tell is if someone takes a picture with flash on. That's how they're able to tell which is which. But other than that, you can barely tell. But of course, it really depends on you. Would I recommend you paying a resale? Uh, it really depends. I would consider this to be more of a subtle flex because no one will really know what shoe you have on unless they take a picture with flash. Of course, if you got these for retail, sweet. Or if you want to pay for resale, then be my guest. This colorway is not bad looking at all. I do feel like this is definitely a shoe you can rock and kind of beat in the way to the ground without worrying about being too dirty because it is more on the muted side. I personally feel like if you end up going with the non reflective version, you're not messing out. It's definitely going to be a comfortable shoe to rock. Is it worth the resale price? In reality, that's completely up to you. If you actually have the non reflective, I do feel like depending on the sizing, you should definitely hold. If you have the reflective version, you can definitely flip it and make some quick cash. But of course, like, always in due time as you hold these would definitely go up in value so that's my best recommendation anyways that's it for this video i do hope you guys did enjoy be sure to leave a like subscribe especially if you are new and let me know down below if you bought these for the personal or you bought this to flip were you lucky to get the reflectives or you actually missed out like always stay blessed be humble take care and stay awesome